This tree behind me is an Afrocarpus falcatus. It's also known as an African fern pine. Today we'll go over all the different attributes about it, and by the time we're done, you'll be able to identify it out in the field. Let's get to it. This tree can kind of be confusing. It has quite a few names. It has a few different botanical names. The current one right now is an Afrocarpus falcatus. That's what it is currently. But some of the older names it had been called Afrocarpus gracilior, also Podocarpus gracilior, and Taxus falcatus. Those were all botanical names. So the older ones we really don't use anymore. The current one is Afrocarpus falcatus. A bit confusing, but heck, I don't know why they changed the name, but right now the current name is Afrocarpus falcatus. And when it comes to common names, a lot of common names. I'll try to get it right because there's quite a few. It's been um, known as an African fern pine, also a uh, Otinqua yellowwood, a common yellowwood, a sickle leaf yellowwood, and a bastard yellowwood. A lot of freaking names for this single tree. Um, a good idea to always know your botanicals and, and maybe the current one. So if that's what you're hoping to get, this African fern pine, you know, Afrocarpus falcatus, as long as you know that botanical, you'll get the, the one that you're looking for. The genus name, Afrocarpus, actually means African seed. And the species name means cycle or scythe-like. Well, let's go have a look at the leaf and we'll see if it's true to its name. So as I was talking about that botanical name, Afrocarpus, this tree comes from Eastern and Southern Africa. More likely why the name is Afrocarpus. When I was talking about the leaf, how it was mentioning that on the species name, that it's sickle shape or scythe like. If you get a look at this leaf here, it's really a linear leaf. It has, a, I guess, that sickle or scythe shape. That's why they call it that. It has an alternate arrangement, it means that the leaves grow alternately on the stem. And, you know, a nice linear green leaf. If you look throughout the canopy, this tree has on the ends, the, the new growth is yellowish green and the darker growth is really a darker green. A very full shaped tree because it's a, current, uh, a decurrent tree, which means that it will want to have a rounded canopy. This tree can grow about 70 feet tall and have a width of about 50 to 60 feet wide in some cases. Um, the bark on it, if you have a look at this bark, it's really a beautiful gray bark with nice furrows in it. And this trunk can get really large and they can, they can grow a long while. This is one of those trees that um, in, in California, it's not native, like I said, it's not native to California, but here I haven't known it to be, um, to get any pests or diseases. It's one of those indestructible trees. It's a real nice tree to, to have because it's, it doesn't get sick and it doesn't, it's not a weak tree, it's a real strong tree. So some of the things about it, it gets this fruit, this green fruit, and then sometimes it'll turn into a purple. When they get a little bit more mature, it'll be a purplish color. What's kind of unique about this tree, it has males and females. It's a dioecious tree. So um, the females are the ones that'll get the fruit and the males will get this thing called a catkin. It looks kind of like a little corn. Those are the males. You wouldn't see a male having a fruit, only the females. Another one of the aspects that I like about this tree are the, the branch structure of it. And as I mentioned, the bark is a little bit rough. It was really cool when you look up, these branches are, a lot of the times they'll go out and have like a broad canopy. So for me, it's really cool because if you're walking in it, it's really nice to walk out on some of the ends and, and you're not really slipping because the bark really grips on your feet. What I also like about the structure of this tree, if you have a nice prune to it, you know, you're not going to, you don't want it to be really thin, but if it's thin properly, when you see it and the sun's hitting the branches, it really is picturesque and I really like, that's one of the aspects I like about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this Afrocarpus falcatus, also known as African fern pine. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.